Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Diana. And my channel is Sophisticated Divas. The many of you guys, they all know me as Black Candy. So I know you guys have probably been wondering where in the hell have I been. So I stepped away from YouTube for a little bit because I need to actually reach inside and do some soul searching so that I could actually take care of me. You know, um, in the last year and a half, I've had a lot of things going on in my life and still trying to keep it all together. So, but anyway, um, I just been dealing with it, dealing with it the best way that I can and just asking God to help me and keep me strong so that I can make it through pretty much 2017. Well, in 2017, um, well, June 17th, 2017, uh, I became a widow. Uh, I lost my husband, David, um, in a horrific accident, a triathlon accident. And so anyway, with that, I pretty much started like coasting my way through. And then in 2018, I had to actually learn um, to live with that, to live with that and to accept it. And, you know, and um, just a whole new way of living. And I did that. And I was always there for everybody else, you know, holding somebody's hand, always got somebody back, doing stuff for people, um, helping them through situations, always giving them a shoulder to cry on, to lean on, a person to listen to, a person to depend on, always there for somebody, always somebody's rock, somebody that will be there for a person and always come through. That is me. That is who I am. But after David passed, it's like, Diana, who do you have? Who do you have? I had God. I had to lean on God and I had to trust in his word because, you know, God cannot lie. I had to trust in his word that he would lead me and he would comfort me and help me get through this and learn this new life now that I have. Because some people, they get the chance to prepare um, if a loved one is going to pass away. I did not have that option. It happened just like that to me. And then I had to actually um, play the cards that I had been dealt. It is, it was nothing but here it is. This is your life. This is what you have to do. And I had to trust in his word. God makes no mistakes, you know, and he knows that I am strong enough to pull through and do things as he pleads, as long as I honor his steps. And I have always done that. That's my foundation. You know, I have always, always, always done that. So, um, 2018, I pretty much started to learn this, getting everything together, how I'm living, you know, with my house and with this apartment and my children and all this stuff. I had to become strong. I had to do what I know best. Trust in God. Let him lead me. And when I sit here and tell you guys, I have been nothing but blessed and he has led me. God has held my heart and he has led me. But I've also learned some other things, you know, um, Everything that you see, you might not always see things clearly. People can teach you lessons. You know, sometimes you think that you're wise. I feel as if I'm wise, but you might not be wise enough. God can still teach you and show you stuff. And he has shown me many of things. And it's like, okay, now get it together. You know, I'm putting you out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? You're not sheltered like how you were. You know, you don't have the same perfect life perfect marriage and all this you're gonna see some other things you know you're gonna see some other things and you got to learn how to deal with it this is how this world is today you know things change people change nothing stays the same so anyway um with that being said 2018 i you know i've gotten stronger 2019 is here i got a grip on everything now, within that time with all that stuff going on, I'm going to let you guys in on some things. My weight was up and down, up and down. In 2017, I pretty much wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I was just all over the place in my mind and stuff. Um, I knew how to make sound decisions, good decisions, right? But sometimes I just was not there because, you know, it's always that I've always had David. I always had my husband and all that. And we can talk about these things. We can talk about anything. We can figure it out. We can work it out and... We were a solid rock team, a core, you hear me, a core, and you couldn't shake it, you couldn't break it, you know, and so now I had to learn how to live without my core, you know, and, um, and just a lean on God, and I did that, so, but with all that happening, I put on weight, so I'm going to tell you guys what happened, my weight was up and down, 
um, I put on weight and then um, throughout the years I have been up and down you guys see me take it off but my mental state was not there to keep it keep it keep it keep it keep it it's just like okay you gain boom go lose it then I want to eat I want to eat emotionally eating and all that stuff right there not just emotionally just eating it because it's there and then um so I had to go to the doctor I went to the doctor um two weeks ago tell you guys what I weighed in at I had gained weight but I know where I want to be and what I need to be and what I need to do and um I weighed in at 100 and <laughs> No way that I was gonna stay at 180 pounds and I'm telling the guy I was like mm, you sure and I saw the numbers and he was like uh yeah he said did you weigh yourself before you came in I said yeah he said what'd you see I was like oh it's pretty much high he's like mm. so when I sat down then I'm talking to the doctor and all that stuff and then he tells me you know about my weight gain and he says look I'm see you back in four weeks you know what you need to do you know what you have to do and then he was like you know Diana you know your husband he wouldn't want you like this. Your kids need you. You know, you can't go backwards. You know what I'm saying? You're a face to many people in this whole entire world. And you got to continue on with that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have a testimony. And you have to keep preaching. Keep preaching. Keep showing. Keep teaching. And that's where I am. I'm back where I need to be. When I say I'm 100% back, I'm 100% back. Because y'all... Since that day that I left, I left the um, doctor's office talking with the doctor, I have been in the gym gung-ho. I have not missed a day. This is going into the third week and everything. So I'm going to be weighing in on every Sunday for you guys. My very first week, I lost 12 pounds. You hear me? Hey. Hey. I lost 12 pounds. Now, when I lose weight, y'all, my breasts start to look huge. Wait a minute. So as you guys can see now, these mugs stick out all this right here and y'all look at my pants today I had to wear a belt I don't wear belts I had to wear a belt today look at all this look at that my pants are too big these mugs right here need to go to Kelly big time look at that oh y'all see that look at that baby when I tell y'all I'm in that gym tearing that gym DF up I'm to watch me do it when I say I'm about to bring it back watch me do it I'm not just going to say it. I'm going to prove to y'all. I want you guys to follow me along on this journey. Every Sunday, I'm going to weigh in for you, um, for you guys what I started doing. I got all the junk food out of here. I've been drinking nothing but water, water, water. I get in like a half gallon to a gallon of water every single day. I did meal replacements. I am doing the 310. So I do two shakes, one for breakfast, one for lunch. And then for dinner, I have a good dinner. So I'm already, I'm already in a caloric deficit. You know, and, and I go and I burn it out. And my body had got so used to working out like two hours a day. You guys know your body can get used to doing something. I've always worked out for like two hours and I can burn it up, burn it up. But guess what? My body got used to that. I have been on this journey, y'all. Coming next month is going to be 10 years. 10 years. 10 years I've been bringing it here to y'all. 10 years. So what I plan on, um, what I planned on doing, I was like, okay, I got to write me out a um a plan on how i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna train i am certified in so much stuff and i was like okay i gotta sit down and write a plan and do all this stuff and that's what i've been doing i have been training my body training it three hours and then like when i get up at night i didn't get up and i had to go pee or something like that if i feel like oh, okay dang i think i want to snack on something i start working out last night i was back up um at 12 o'clock and then I worked out until like 2 30 but that's on me that ain't what you got to do it's because I'm determined I'm determined now to turn everything back and get where I need to be I'm going to where I need to be you know what I'm saying I am going to get to my destination I am going to be there so um I got this hypeness about it you know what I'm saying? I got this hypeness you know I've been getting out going out doing my thing y'all see I don't change my hair another thing is I'm doing another video for that right there because I got a, a sponsorship on this hair gotta talk about this hair and stuff and how I be sweating and stuff but boo y'all this is what I wore to work y'all need to take this stuff off but um I didn't wear any makeup I just 
did my brows and my lipstick and then just pulled my hair back into a ponytail but i'm getting ready to go to the gym at six it's 10 after five though right now i'm getting ready to go to the gym i'm very happy um with what i'm seeing and you know in training look at that i'm just like baby y'all think i ain't about to bring it back to y'all i am about to bring it all the way back to y'all so um with that being said i'm training in the gym i'm training at my building and all that stuff and um i'm about to show y'all how i lost these 12 pounds first week first week first week first freaking week 12 pounds 12 and you know and i was giving it my all my all and it's like eating the best way that i can i mean all that junk gone all the junk gone but i mean i have a couple of drinks you know what i'm saying yeah i have done that but i make up for it you know what i'm saying and so but i just want you guys to follow me so i did the 310 shakes and then i did my meal prep you know have some protein and stuff and i had some protein the other week but i want you guys to thumbs up subscribe comment ask me questions but watch me do it watch what i do watch what i bring back to y'all you know so um, I'm taking it all the way back, all the way back. Um, I was looking at one of my uh, videos when I was like in one of my best shapes when I was getting ready to compete, and um, I weighed in at 147 pounds. It's one of my boob videos. Make sure you guys go back and watch all those videos, and that's what I'm about to take it back to. And I want you guys to watch me do it. You hear me? Because my body is my happy place. Um, I have to live in here. You know, the gym is my happy place and my kids need me. You know what I'm saying? My kids need me. I need me. And, um, you guys need me. So I'm going to share this journey. You know what I'm saying? So I want you guys to see me re-transform and I'm going to be changing my hair, a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff is different, you know, with me and you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, but I want you guys to watch me do it. Y'all, I have a hunger for this so bad, and I have to feed myself. I have to feed my soul, and that's what I'm going to do. 12 pounds, and so I'm going to weigh in Sunday coming um, and let you guys know what I've lost um, this week. So from 168 to whatever I'm going to be, and I'll show you guys that. Um, I'm getting ready to go work out, though, now, but I just want to come to you and let you guys know that I am back. And I'm going to be bringing you guys all kind of videos. I'm going to try not to do so many lives. But make sure you guys come along with me on this new journey. This new journey of life that I have. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of Ayana and I. Kiera is getting ready to leave on the 28th of this month. So um, it's going to be me and Ayana now. It's going to be me and Ayana. And y'all want to tell y'all I'm about to do some things. I'm about to do some things. And you know, you know how I get I'm hype about it. I'm hype about the change. And, uh, yeah, these are Invisalign kicking my ass. But, um, I'm getting ready to get to the gym. But watch me do it, damn it. Watch what I say. Watch me do it. Hey, good morning, good people. How's it going? Diana's been telling me some really great things that you guys have been accomplishing, right? But here's the deal. Today is the best day of your life. And the life that you want to have, you can have. And Diana's a perfect example. And if you're looking for somebody who can not just motivate you on fashion or your health, but in your life, you need to subscribe. There's a button right there, right? You need to go on and click that button. Why? Because the best days of your life are in front of you. Everything you've been through has been preparing you for now. Go on and subscribe. Take your time. Watch the videos. And it might not, all the videos might not fit you, but the idea does. Today's your day. Make it great. Make it happen because your life is in your hands. Hey, you back there. Yes. You're thinking about it, but you haven't clicked the button yet. I need you to click that button. Go. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, go, go ahead and do it. Move your, move your cursor. There you go. And done. Good job. Hey, love you guys. Great to see you again. And remember, your best days are in front of you. Go make it happen. Black candy. Black candy.